everyone, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I am outside Rite Aid and I'm going in to get my COVID-19 booster shot. I'm running a little bit late and I'm going to come back out. Hopefully I'll be able to film it this time, but I don't know. So we'll find out. I'll come back out and tell you how it went and then I'll take you through the next day or so. All right, you ready? I'm ready. I don't want to look at it. <laughs> I don't know what it is about that, but I don't want to look at it. Don't blame you. Right, so you keep that in there for a few minutes. There was a little bit of blood that came out with it. So. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Just so you're aware. So that was much easier than the last two times. Didn't have to drive all the way down to Rowan University. Just got to do it right here at my local Rite Aid. It was super easy. I filmed it for you this time. Couldn't do that the last couple times. That's nice though. The pharmacist let me film it. Now I'm gonna go home. I don't have anything planned. It's a little windy out here. I'm not coaching today, so I don't have to worry about being on the ice. So let's get home and relax. I'm back home. I do have some things to do. My Misfits box hasn't gotten here yet, so I don't have to do that right away. I'm not sure if the clip that I filmed outside of Rite Aid worked or not. I think I might've had an audio problem. It was windy. I do wanna go over with you the reason why I got the vaccine. And I'm gonna read to you directly from the website. Individuals who received a Pfizer BioNTech or Moderna COVID-19 vaccine are eligible for a booster shot at six months or more after their initial series. If you're 65 or older, over 18 living in a long-term care facility, over 18 with an underlying medical condition or over 18 and live and work in a high-risk setting. It's also recommended for those that got the Johnson & Johnson vaccine who are over 18 and vaccinated more than two months ago can also get a booster. You can choose to mix and match your booster. You don't have to get the same shot that you got the first time. I did. I got Pfizer BioNTech the first time and I got Pfizer BioNTech this time. It says that those that receive a booster shot will receive additional protection. That's why I got a booster shot. Underlying medical conditions and because I'm in a high risk setting, being around a lot of children that are unvaccinated indoors for my occupation. But let me tell you, this was super easy to get this time. There was no problem getting an appointment for it on RiteAid.com. I basically just walked into Rite Aid where I got my flu shot a few weeks ago and I was able to get it pretty quickly. I had to wait 10 minutes or something there because there was somebody ahead of me. Pharmacists didn't have me wait the 15 minutes after because I had no reaction to my first two shots. So he said I could go. But I mean, my first two vaccines, I had to drive two hours each way to get them. And that was back in March. So now we're in November and it's just super easy to get your vaccine. And there's really no reason why you shouldn't. If you haven't gotten a vaccine yet, go ahead and get it. If you have gotten your vaccines but are on the fence about a booster shot, you can keep watching this video and I'll tell you what happens with me. But so far, so good. I'll keep you posted. I'll check back in with you. It's the next day. It's 10.26 a.m. and my Misfits box was a day late. That's why you didn't hear from me yesterday. What I did yesterday was I came home, I laid down, took a little, fell asleep for half an hour, 45 minutes. I got a lot of work done. I got a few scripts written. I got a video edited. I actually got a lot done yesterday. So that I think is pretty amazing. I felt a little tired, but today I feel great. I slept really well. And for some reason I forgot to charge my Apple watch. So I can't show you that I slept really well, but I did. I rarely sleep through the night. I usually wake up halfway through the night and I slept through the whole night. Today, I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna make some soup. I'm gonna write some more scripts and I'm gonna go vote because it's November 2nd. So this is what it looks like 24 hours, well, a little bit more than 24 hours, about 24 hours after having your Pfizer 
BioNTech booster shot. No headaches. I, you know what? I didn't even take any Advil. My arm where they, they put the shot in is a little... It's a little tender, I'll say. It's not swollen or anything, but I, I mean, this was, in my opinion, pretty good. So I'm gonna film this now, and then I'll check back in with you later on. Hi, it is now 3.53 p.m. the day after I got my booster shot, and I'm here to vote. I'm not gonna tell you who I vote for, but I'm here to vote. <laughs> so I feel good. I really, I just, I made my soup. Everything has been going great today. I actually feel better than I felt going into the shot because I was feeling a little run down. Haven't taken any Advil, had any fever, any symptoms at all. So far, I'm gonna say this is much easier. I mean, the other two shots weren't hard either, but this is even easier. Like, it's not a big deal. Just go get your booster if you're eligible to get one. I'm gonna go in and vote, and I'll check back in with you again, maybe tomorrow. We'll see how I am tomorrow. I have to work tomorrow. That'll be the first day that I've worked since I got the booster, so, cause I took these two days off. So we'll see how that goes. Mask on. And I'm going in. I voted. I got my sticker. So there was no line. That was quick and easy. Really quick and easy. So I hope you voted too. And I hope that you've got your vaccines. And if you're eligible, we'll get your booster too. I'll check back in with you tomorrow. It is now day three. I'm here at the rink. I have about three and a half hours worth of lessons at this rink. And then I have to go over to the other rink for another two hours of lessons. It's a, a pretty typical day for me. I feel good. My arm's a little sore, but that's really the only thing that I've experienced. No headaches, no, no nothing, really. We're good. Hi everyone, this is Amy. I'm outside the other rink and it's Thursday and the kids in New Jersey have off from school this Thursday and Friday for teachers conventions. So it's gonna be a very busy couple of days. I still feel great and I'm gonna go in and teach some preschoolers and I'll check back in with you either later or probably tomorrow. So far, really, this has been super easy. Easier than my first and second shot. So it's now Friday and I got my vaccine on Monday. I feel really great. I haven't had any trouble. I've slept really well, no symptoms, not even so much as a headache. And I get headaches a lot, but I haven't experienced that. This is actually an easier, much easier process than when I got my first two doses. The third dose has been a lot easier. But let me know, have you gotten your third dose? Will you be getting a booster shot? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with somebody else that could help. Oh, and if you missed my other videos on my vaccine, my vaccine vlog videos, I'm going to put them all right over here so that you can view that playlist. Remember to subscribe and ring the bell so that you never miss another video. This is Amy. Thank you for watching. I will see you real soon. Bye.